Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run your Dart code in terminal in Visual Studio Code. Now you can use any other terminal like Mac OS, the Bash terminal on Linux or CMD command line on the Windows. It doesn't really matter. So this tutorial is not really for building Flutter apps. It's simply for running your Dart code from the command line. We're going to install Dart Visual Studio Code extension and we'll also install the Dart SDK from the official Dart website. Once we have those tools downloaded and installed, we're going to add Dart, the location of the Dart SDK to our environment variables in the Windows. Now, this is a really important step. If you skip that, your Dart application is just not going to run from anywhere on your hard drive except the, the folder where it was installed. But to make it work with VS Code, we need to make Dart available globally on our system. So guys, here I have my VS Code editor. And the first thing you want to do is go to extensions and start typing Dart in search box. So then you want to go ahead and click on the first search result and then go ahead and click on the install button. So it's going to take a while to install Dart in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so once the Dart extension is installed, you can go ahead and close all of those things and then hit Control Shift P, which is a keyboard shortcut for command palette in VS Code. And this menu will show up. So here, just start typing Dart and click on the first option that says Dart New Project. Now you can skip the next step if you already have the Dart SDK downloaded and installed, but here I don't have that yet. So I'm going to click on Download button and click on Open button here. Now this will bring up the Dart SDK download page. So, so find and click this link here that says downloading the SDK as a zip file. Then on the next page, go ahead and scroll down. Um, I have Windows 64 bit, so that's the download package I'm going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Dart SDK link and wait for the file to be downloaded. Now that the Dart SDK has downloaded, go ahead and click on this arrow and click show in folder. Your file explorer will open in downloads folder. So go ahead and right click on the file we just downloaded and click extract here. Wait for the Dart SDK zip to unpack into this folder and then locate that folder. Right click on Dart SDK and copy it. Then scroll down to your C drive and go ahead and paste it right into your C drive. So now we have it in C slash Dart SDK. Now that it's fully copied, go ahead and go inside the folder dart-sdk and go into the address and copy this location, which should be something like c slash dart-sdk. So let's go ahead and close all of this. And we're going to start a new Dart project in VS Code. So in order to do that, press Control shift p again. Now in this dropdown, select Dart New Project and locate SDK. Now go ahead and go to that folder where we just installed the SDK, see dart-sdk and select that folder. Now after doing that, I still have this window. So I'm gonna go ahead and locate SDK again. And this time I'm gonna go to dart-sdk and I'm going to select the bin folder. So just click on the bin folder, don't go inside it. Just make sure it's selected and click the set Dart SDK folder button. Now I'm going to create a simple console Dart application, which is the same as running it in terminal. So here console application is the drop down menu option I'm going to select. VS Code will start this new select folder window. So just either locate or create a new folder where you want your Dart projects to be. Here it's C projects slash Dart. Here, I'm going to create another folder and call it YouTube just for this tutorial. And here, the YouTube folder, just click on the folder and 
click on the select folder to create the project in button. This will start a new Dart project in VS Code. Just hit enter when the default application name appears and it will open in your Visual Studio Code as a new project. Now at this point you might run into Dart errors because you cannot yet run Dart application from the command line in terminal. That's because we need to add Dart to environment variables. So if I try to run or debug this Dart application in VS Code at this point, we'll still run into a bunch of errors and our program is basically not going to work. As you can see here, Dart is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. So go to your start button, start typing CMD. And on our command line, we want to verify the version of Dart installed or whether we can even actually use it from the terminal or command line. So type Dart dash dash version. And basically, as you can see, we can't use Dart at this point yet. Even though it's installed, we can't run the Dart command from just about anywhere on our hard drive, which is what we need to set up if we want to run Dart in our VS Code terminal. So if you go to the folder where we installed our Dart SDK and go ahead and go into the bin folder, as you can see, Dart can be launched from here. It's just, it can't be launched from anywhere else in our system right now, only from this folder. After running this command, you can see that Dart SDK version 2.18.4 is actually installed. So in order to make this work in VS Code, go to Start button and start typing environment variables. Then just hit enter or click on the open button. Now on this window that shows up here, go to environment variables button and on the lower box here, locate path. Click on path and click on edit button. Scroll all the way down, click on new button and type C slash dart dash SDK. Now click the new button again and type C slash dart dash SDK dash bin. Now go back to your VS Code, try to run it. As you can see, it's still not working, but all you have to do is close VS Code and open it again. Now go to open folder and locate our Dart application we created earlier, Projects Dart YouTube. It's gonna open our Dart project in VS Code. And at this point, you should be able to run this program. So I'm gonna click on this Run button. And as you can see, we printed out Hello World, which was printed out by this print function. So here I'm gonna change it, hello world, one, two, one, two, and run this. As you can see, it updated that result in terminal as well.